So today I thought it would be fun to do a little something different with the holiday season almost upon us and go ahead and rank some of the best games on Nintendo Switch. You can see we have a whole bunch of stuff here, a lot of the exclusives, a few key third-party games as well. No, this list isn't like the entire compilation of every game ever released on Switch, and there's some notable omissions. And we have a weird thing like Tears of the Kingdom listed twice. Look, I didn't make this list of games to full, full credit, but I'll put a link down to where you guys can, can do this for yourself as well. But when I look up here, uh, you can kind of see how we're going to rank them. We got best games, fantastic, amazing, solid, good, all right, meh, disliked, hated, and didn't play. Didn't play category I think is important because it's, it's hard to rank games that you obviously haven't experienced. Uh, but I thought this would just be a fun experiment as many of you guys might be looking for holiday gifts or games for yourself. And you know what? Maybe some of these games you're not thinking of and you want to know, are they any good? So, hey, you don't have to care about Mr. Nintendo Prime over here, but uh, we're going to try our best to do what we can. Uh, if you're enjoying this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and who knows, maybe we'll make more content like this. So we're just going to kind of go in order here. We see we have Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Now, I actually really enjoyed Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. You know, it's not up there with like the best games. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, for some reason, solid is above good. Um, I feel like solid and all right are sort of the same thing. So yeah, we're going to go with solid on this one. Uh, I just feel like that's the appropriate category for it. Uh, this game here, uh, I just didn't play it. I think this is Shin Megami Tensei 5. I didn't play that one, so that's where that one goes. Now we get to our first sports game, Mario Golf Superstars or Super Rush or whatever. I did play this game. The gameplay is really good, but it's really lacking content. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in the... Mm, I'm going to go with all right. It's just all right. Uh, it, it lacks content. I wouldn't pay full price for it. Uh, today, but you know, uh, we have WarioWare Get It Together. This is one of those that I just kind of thought was meh. I think the WarioWare franchise is getting a little stale at this point. Now, Celeste, I didn't beat it fully, right? I didn't beat it fully, but what I played was good. Now, I'm not very good at these really hardcore platformers. For So for people who absolutely think that uh, side-scrolling difficult platformers are like the best, it might go higher up. For me, we're going to put that in the good category. I liked it a little bit less than Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Skyrim, look, we know what Skyrim is at this point, right? I'm going to go ahead and put this up in the... It's a really good port. Let's go with the amazing category on Skyrim. Look, it's an all-time classic. If you haven't played it yet, what's wrong with you? It's on everything. I mean, it was on Amazon Alexa at one point. Uh, 50, uh, Clubhouse 51, ga uh, 51 Games. I'm going to go ahead and put that right up next to... Hyrule Warriors, look, it's a bunch of board games, classic games. Like, it, it's it's really good, and hey, you should play it. Pikmin 3 Deluxe, look, Pikmin's awesome. We're going to go up here, and we're going to stick this next to Skyrim. Look, Pikmin 3 Deluxe is great. It's one of my favorite Pikmin games. Unfortunately, a newer Pikmin game is actually better. Mario Odyssey, literally one of my favorite games. It goes right up there on best games. It's my favorite Mario game of all time, even ahead of Mario Wonder. Uh, we have Super Mario Party. Now, this one got better thanks to a free DLC update. So looking today when you guys are you know, added online and stuff. So looking today when you guys might be looking for uh, a game to add to your library, I have to consider the content of it today, not at launch. We're going to go ahead and put that in the solid category as well. Now, look, I'm a bit of a sucker for the Pokemon. Let's go. I'm a bit of a sucker for them. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's like solid, amazing, or anything like that. We're going to go ahead and slap this. Ah, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go with the next to the Look, I'm a Gen 1-er. So for me, it's probably a bit higher. But I think for most people in general, it'll probably situate right next to Mario Golf just in terms of quality. But Bowser's Fury... Great stuff here. Really love this. This is going to go right up in amazing. Uh, Super Mario 3D World is also really good if you haven't played it. This is a great combo pack, especially if you haven't played uh, 3D World. Uh, I didn't play this, so we're going to slap that right there. Tetris 99 uh, doesn't really matter anymore. We're just going to slap it down here. Uh, you know what? No, Tetris 99 is still... <sighs> Look, it's good. It's good. Let's go ahead and put this in the good category. Uh, next up, Octopath Traveler. Look, guys, I love Octopath Traveler. Anyone who's followed my channel for a long time knows my thoughts on this game. We're going to go ahead and put that in the fantastic category. It's not one of the best, but it is up there. It is close. Cuphead. Look, is there any debate? That's going right next to Octopath Traveler. Cuphead's amazing. I'm so glad we have that series on here. Breath of the Wild. Sorry, that's S tier. One of the best games on, on, on the platform. I don't think that's really much debatable. Now we get to uh, Superstars. 
So Par Mario Party Superstars, I actually think is a little bit better than Super Mario Party, in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the amazing category. I think it's just got more content. I think it's just a better game, better mini games. And for some reason, people just aren't buying it. Uh, no More Heroes 3, unfortunately, didn't play that one. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise, I did play, and I actually found this to be really, really good. We're going to go ahead and stick this in the amazing category. Uh, I think it's right on par with all of those games right there. Uh, next up, we have Dragon Quest. Oh, come on. Is this 11? I think this is 11, right? Yeah, this is Dragon Quest 11. Um, let's go ahead and slap Dragon Quest 11 up here in the amazing categories. Well, you can see the amazing category is where I might be ranking a lot of games today. Starlink Battle for Atlas. Uh, if you haven't played it, it's a really, really good game. We're going to go ahead and slap this in the solid category. Uh, I do like it more than Celeste and Tetris 99. Uh, you do not have to buy all the minifigures to play it. It's got literally... Technically, you could argue it's sort of our own Star Fox game because you look, Fox McCloud's in the game. It is what it is. Uh, Bravely Default 2. Haven't played this one, so unfortunately, I have to slap it here, but I would say that this is probably a, a, a pretty high up there game. Astral Chain. Okay. Astral Chain is utterly fantastic. If you have not played it, Find it on discount this holiday. You need to pick it up. You will not regret it. It is an amazing experience. Uh, come on, Mario Kart 8. Look, can this be anything but S tier? Look, I, I realize it's not an exclusive, but after all the DLC and everything, come on. Uh, we, we can't deny Mario Kart 8 is literally one of the best games. It's best in the franchise. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, another really good game. Let's go put that in the good category. I don't necessarily like it more than these, uh, but I did really enjoy it, and I, I just don't think it's quite as good as the first two. But Nintendo did pay to make it made, and I'm really happy. Pac-Man 99, we'll also put that in the good category. I did enjoy Pac-Man 99. Uh, now we get to an all-time classic, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Yeah, th th this, this is a tough one for me. Um, I own it. I didn't play a lot of it, but I love all of the games. Uh, like, like where, do I, where, where do I put this? Do I put it here? No. I mean, look, these are S-tier games individually. You know what? No, no, I can't. We, we got to go one road down from S-tier. They did not include Mario Galaxy 2, which is the superior Mario Galaxy game. No soup for you. <laughs> you get knocked down a tier because you're missing a game that should be included. All right. Cadence of Hyrule. Great game. We're going to go ahead and stick this in the solid tier. Uh, if you have not played Cadence of Hyrule, a spinoff game combining an indie franchise with Zelda, it's very good. If you love Zelda music, it's extremely good. Uh, go ahead and do that. Now, look, I don't really care about Among Us. It's fine. Uh, we'll put it in the mid category. I'm not like a huge Among Us person. Uh, Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. We're going to slap that in the all right. Look, I really enjoyed the original releases. Second go around, I, I just didn't enjoy it quite as much. We're going to slap it there. Shout out to Nintendo. They did send me the game for free, but yeah. Wonderful 101. Again, this is better than people think, but it's also not like the greatest game to ever come out of Platinum. Uh, I didn't really play it on Switch, but I did play and beat it on Wii U. We're going to go ahead and slap it in the good category because it is a good game. Uh, next up, Link's Awakening. Look, I'm a sucker for Link's Awakening. You might start to see a theme here. Um, not quite on the par of these three games, so we're going to slap it down here in Fantastic. But Link's Awakening Remake was really damn good. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Look, I, it's the best Smash ever. Like, I'm not even big into fighting games. It's the best Smash Bros. game ever, in my opinion. Some people might argue Melee. You're wrong. Um... <laughs> Best, best Smash game ever. Uh, next up, we have Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Another really, really fantastic game. Uh, you know what? It's so good. I am going to slap it in the fantastic category. I do think it's on par with these. I know see, this one just keeps standing out to me. I feel like this should... No, I can't. Again, there's no Galaxy 2. All right, all right. Let's go on. This video's going to last forever if we don't keep going. Pokemon Unite, don't care about... Actually, I did play it. I can't say that. I'll say disliked. I wasn't a huge fan of Unite. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, here we go with Damon X Machina. This one is just meh. You know, it, it, it could have been really, really good. Uh, it's a solid game. If you're really into mech games, you might hit. But this this is my tier list. I, this isn't a game I would suggest to people this holiday. But, you know, if you can find it on the cheap, why not? Uh, Ring Fit Adventure, really good. We're going to give this a solid category. You know, I think it fits right in with these group of games. You can argue Age of Calamity should maybe be a bit higher. But it's a Warriors game, and if you're not into that style of game, it's not going to do it for you. But Ring Fit Adventure is really good. Uh, I do use it myself in my workout, workout regime. Uh, didn't play, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, didn't play this one either, unfortunately. Animal Crossing. I assume this is, looks like New Horizons. Um, 
Mm, I think New Leaf might be... Mm, New Leaf's probably a better one, but this is just Switch releases. Oh, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick Animal Crossing in the Fantastic Cat. You know... Mm, you know what? I didn't really keep playing it after the first year. This is the first Animal Crossing. I didn't do that. I'm actually going to bring it down a tier. I I don't know. So, something about Animal Crossing New Horizons. I love the terraforming and the island mechanics, and I love the DLC they added. I just, I don't know, man. It, it couldn't keep me playing like the prior ones. Maybe I'm just growing out of the franchise. But New Leaf kept me going for many, many years. Still a really good game. If you haven't played it and you're into like life simulation games, you should absolutely pick it up. It might be the best life simulation game on Switch. But uh, we're going to just go with amazing on that. I think that's fair. Um, yeah, okay. This game's awesome. This game this game just automatically jumps up here. Uh, if you haven't played the, the FE Encore, the crossover game back from Wii U, you're really missing out. That that That's a fantastic game. Uh, okay, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Any version of this, I kind of just think is meh. Uh, I don't think eh, I don't dislike it. They're just meh. Um, here's our first hated. Sorry, sorry, brilliant diamond, shining pearl fans. I hated Pokemon BDSP. Beat the damn game on live stream. Hated everything about BDSP. Get out of here. Uh, don't know what this game is. So we're gonna slap them there. Sorry for those that recognize it. Uh, Mario Tennis Aces again. Solid. I, I, I can't go better. The, the gameplay is great. The tournaments are fun. It's lacking content in single player. I can't go higher than an all right on it. I just can't. Uh, ARMS. I actually like ARMS. I think ARMS is probably a better quality game, so we're going to go with good on this one. I think it fits right in with the games I'm sitting here. I know people are going to argue, so I get it. Some of you guys are really into it. It's my tier list. Bayonetta 3, amazing. Not sure if it's quite better than Bayonetta 1, which I think is the best game in the series. Uh, but I do think that it's pretty amazing. I think it could stand, mm, looking at these games, I think it could stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Monster Hunter Rise, Animal Crossing, Bowser's Fury, Pikmin 3. I think that's a fair place to, to put that game next to. And again, a solid pickup if you can find it on a slight discount. Nintendo Labo. Um, I just didn't like it. I'm just going to be honest. I bought like all the stuff. It wasn't great. Hollow Knight. Look, I enjoyed Hollow Knight better than Celeste. Um... Uh, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at how I rank things right now. I, I have to put this one in the solid category. Uh, no, no, I can't. Dude, Hollow Knight's amazing. I'm sorry. Uh, it, I don't know what I'm apologizing for. If you haven't played Hollow Knight, go get it. Maybe it'll convince them to get Silk Song out sooner. I uh, don't really care about this game. We'll just, I don't hate it. I'm just going to say it didn't play. Uh, I didn't play this one, unfortunately. Now, Sparks of Hope. I love Sparks of Hope. It's not a best game. It, I, I, I would probably say it's in the amazing category. Mm, mm, yeah, I'm going to leave it. I, I think the original is uh, better. Mm, that's probably one that's going to go up a tier. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Bam. I'm sorry. It's one of the best games on Switch. If you don't think so, you're just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pokemon Snap, new Pokemon Snap. Really enjoyed this one. Um, I, I, um, yeah, I guess it could go amazing or could go good. I think we're going to go with... Uh, I'm looking at my tiers here. I'm just going to go with Solid on this one. Uh, look, the franchise has always been... I, I don't expect anything else from it. The game is perfect for what I want it to be. It's just... You know, the appeal of that only goes so far with me taking pictures of Pokemon and stuff. So uh, we're going to go there. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, again, it has to be... Where, where did I put uh, the other Let's Go game? Yeah, it's got to go right in the all right category. You know, they're the same game. Uh, Bayonetta 2. This came out. I did say this is better than Bayonetta 3. Where did I put Bayonetta 3? Bayonetta 3, where are you? Oh, there it is. So you got to go up in the Fantastic because I think Bayonetta 2 is better. Uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. It's good. It's just a solid game. I got no complaints. Super easy, but it's a lot of fun to play with your, your kids and stuff. Uh, Travis Strikes Back. Uh, didn't play this one, unfortunately. Uh, the original Hyrule Warriors, and this one has all of the content. Uh, I don't think it's as good as uh, Age of Calamity, so we're going to slap that in the good category. I think that fits over pretty good. 1-2 Switch, I think is... Eh. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go with Mint on 1-2 Switch. I, 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 look, it's fine. It's just fine. Look, the Witcher 3 port was pretty good. Uh, we're going to we're gonna slap the Witcher 3 port here up in the good category. I think it fits nice along all of those. It's not, like, it's a fantastic game. You probably should play it on a different system. Uh, but it's it's pretty good, especially when it first came out. Dragon Quest Builders, sorry, I'm just not, 
a big fan of the Dragon Quest Builder stuff. I uh, didn't play this one. Uh, Hades. Hades is up here. You know, I'm, oh gosh. Hades is going up here. I'm sorry. I, I It's right there with Cuphead for one of my like favorite indie games of all time. Hades has got to be up there. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. U. It's just all right. It's just all right. It's not It's not fantastic. Now, Doom. Now, we're going to say this goes for Doom and Doom Eternal because there's no other listing. And those ports are amazing. Uh, we're going to put those right up there in the amazing category. It just Doom or Doom Eternal uh, or Doom 64 or all of the Dooms. All the Doom games. Just, just slap them into that because there's no other Doom listed here. So we're just going to say all the Doom games on Switch. Combine them all together and you're sitting there at an amazing. Get any of them. Pokemon Shield. Sorry, didn't like it, guys. Pokemon Legends Arceus, though. Sorry. I, oh, I don't know what I'm apologizing for. It is one of the best Pokemon games of all. It might be the best Pokemon game of all time. I, I not Sorry, not sorry. Uh, this is another one that's solid. I like Kirby Star Allies. Uh, Allies. We'll throw that one up there. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, pretty good. A bit rough at launch performance-wise. Uh, but I, I, I think this, this, this probably deserves to be up here next to Doom. Oh, okay, good. It expanded the category. I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, Pokemon, like, yeah, I just don't like those games. Um, the DLC. Ooh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC is almost better. You know what? No, we, we got to put it with the base. It, we just can't do that to it. Uh, Mario Maker 2. Not a huge Mario Maker guy. Just going to go all right. I can't beat anyone's levels. Um, and I suck at making levels. So it ended up not being that fun to me. Uh, I did not play this game. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, a definitive edition. I mean, come on. That's that's right up there with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, let's see here. We have uh, Color Splat. Oh, get, I mean, Origami King. Okay, it's Origami. I was like, Color Splash, Origami King. Origami King is just solid. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Kingdom Battle. Uh, this goes up in the amazing category, or the fantastic, sorry. Just ahead of Sparks of Hope. It is uh, slightly better than Sparks of Hope, but I, I can't call it like the best of the best, right? We got to save that for the best of the best. Uh, we're going to say. This is a combo of Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 because Splatoon 3 is not listed, it doesn't look like. So uh, pretend this is Splatoon 3, and we're going to go ahead and put that up in one of the best games on Switch. That's just in my opinion. Uh, Ninjala. Ninjala is a little bit of a letdown. Uh, I'm just going to say it's meh. It's a little bit of a letdown. It's free to play, though. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. I actually enjoy this a bit more. We're going to put that in the all right category. I actually enjoyed Fire Emblem Warriors a bit. Uh, Box Boy, Box Girl, it's pretty solid. We'll go in the all right category with that one as well. Uh, there's Zelda 2. We can ignore that one because we already have Tears of the Kingdom twice for some reason. Uh, we got uh, Skyward Sword HD. It's the best version of Skyward Sword. I'm a bit of a sucker for Zelda. Uh, it is not in the the best game tier. Uh, do, I, do I put it next to Link's Awakening? Yeah, you know what? I, I do like Skyward Sword a lot. It's one of my favorite Zelda games. Yeah, we, we got to put it there next to Link's Awakening. Uh, then we got Tears of the Kingdom. Come on. Come on. One of, one of the goats. In my opinion, it is the goat, but whatever. Fire Emblem Engage. Unfortunately, I haven't played yet. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, I did I get to play this a little bit. We're going to put this in the good category for right now. I got to play more of that one. Uh, Pikmin 4. I am not kidding you. It is one of the best games on Switch. You need to play this. If you've never played any prior Pikmin game, it doesn't matter. Play Pikmin 4. I I, I kid you not. Octopath Traveler 2. <sighs> Let's see here. You know what? I technically didn't play it. I can't I can't sit there and pretend. I, I definitely didn't play it. Our last game to throw up here is Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Look, it's literally like the best side-scrolling Mario game of all time, or one of them. I mean, it's the best I've played since I was a little kid, that's for sure, so... There's a quick look at our list. If you can see, these are the must-have games. I feel if you don't own any of these games, you should definitely look to pick them up this holiday season, whether that's Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Splatoon 2, or 3. You probably should get 3 right now. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Pikmin 4, and Mario Wonder. And pretty much all these games, I would say, from the amazing on up, uh, like, we don't, for some reason, they didn't have the Kirby game on here, right? Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'd have that up in the best category as well. That would be up here. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't have this one listed. So if you're looking for ideas for holiday games this holiday, this is how I would personally rank them. And 
most of these games from amazing on up, I would definitely say you should purchase. Um, if you happen to have a different taste for games, some of these down here might appeal to you. Uh, and these are just games I didn't play, so I can't rank them. And then, you know what, dislike, hated, meh. Like, I, I just, these are sort of like regrettable games and purchases I've made. So it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video. Just trying something new today. You guys are awesome. We'll catch you in the next video.